So RoboCop has finally made it to Orlando Megacon. It was about a 15 hour drive for us coming from Texas and we are ready to rock guys. I know it doesn't look like it but this tote is really 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 heavy but this is just a part of the game you gotta suffer to have fun <laughs> at least when it comes to Robocop tons of people are here uh, I've never been to a comic-con where there is this many people even in 2009 I went to San Diego comic-con and honestly it pales in comparison to Orlando Megacon this is us just waiting for them to open the doors and this is how busy it is already. Hello everybody and welcome back to Chris Bosch Props. Today we are at a very special Comic Con. We are at Orlando Megacon and guys we just got into the building and I have to say this experience is unlike anything I've ever experienced. It's literally shoulder to shoulder, non-stop cosplay and I need to get this RoboCop suit on, guys. So we're gonna get this suit on. We got it laid out. We found a little dark corner here in Orlando Megacon, the Orange County Convention Center. And this is what we're gonna use. We don't know if it's authorized, but this is what we're using, guys. This is what you gotta do. You got to improvise and adapt sometimes with your cosplay. So we found this little dark corner. We're gonna put this suit on, guys. And we are going to get into Orange County Convention Center. Megacon Orlando, whatever you want to call it, we're getting into it and we're going to do this guys, so let's get to it. All the sound effects you're going to hear are coming directly out of the suit. I didn't overlay anything, I didn't add in any sound effects, so yeah, keep that in mind when you're hearing, those are actual real live sound effects coming directly from inside the suit. So I have about three hours of footage and I really did my best to edit down as much as I could and keep the best stuff, but there was a lot, unfortunately, I did have to cut, guys, so I hope you understand, but it, this was an amazing, out-of-this-world experience. This was by far my favorite Comic-Con I've ever done. So this gentleman here stopped me and recognized me from the YouTube channel and that's something I'm not quite used to yet and it's a very humbling experience when someone does recognize me from the YouTube channel. So I just wanted to stop and thank you specifically and everyone who watches for your support. I do this for you guys. Trust me, I do it for you. I don't do it for me. So just thank you from the bottom of my heart. So I made sure to wear my knee pads and walking was a whole lot easier this time and I didn't have to worry about the plastic on my upper thigh tearing flesh off my knee. So yeah, big plus. This Comic Con was special enough, I had to bring the Auto 9 and walk with it a little bit. It gets pretty tiresome walking with the Auto 9 because it's hard to hold it with the glove, but I made sure to get several photos of me holding the Auto 9.
Camino la lista. I'm probably already at 50% visibility in the suit. Uh, one thing that happens is the humidity from your body starts to really show through on the visor, so it fogs up the visor. I could still see, thankfully, just not as good as I would have liked to. Thank <laughs> you. 
because of my <laughs> lack of visibility, my wife does direct me, so I love having that help being inside of the suit. One of my favorite parts walking around in this Comic-Con is just the people that look in absolute awe of the suit, like they've never seen anything like that in their life. And it's just reassuring of the hard work that I put into this 3D printed suit. And that was the goal. I wanted people, when they see the suit, that they're like, wow, that is Robocop from the movie. about this Orlando Megacon is the people were just really happy to be there. You could tell they were huge movie buffs and it just made the experience that much more positive.
So I have to be honest, this was my favorite costume at Orlando MegaCon was this guy's Optimus Prime. It just looked incredible. It had servos, it opened, it closed. That's awesome. Just an amazing That's costume. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> So I did have a costume failure while wearing the suit. At this point, the strap that holds my upper arms up uh, failed. So the arms are pretty much resting on my forearm and my bicep. And what happens is my hands start to go numb. And yeah, it makes the experience much more miserable than what it already is. But I decided to tough it out. I wasn't going to give up that early. I was just having way too much fun.
did you too. Oh, thank you. Thank That's you. Awesome. Is that Chris? Yes. Chris Bosch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're oh, you guys are oh, awesome. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> This is John Riz Davies agent and he pulled us aside to get a picture with John Riz Davies just because he liked the costume so much. So I was super flattered and it was an absolute pleasure <laughs> to be able to meet John Riz Davies. He was a very kind gentleman. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Great costume. I need to take a picture with you. Thank you. Yep. So it pretty much gets shoulder to shoulder, guys. I mean, it is non stop busy, and the people would not stop coming in.
<laughs> so I noticed this was Tampa J, who's another YouTuber filming me, and I just wanted to say thank you, man, for showing Robocop some love. So RoboCop is pretty beat at this point. I've been in Orlando Megacon for probably about three hours and I'm whooped. So I'm trying to make my way towards my dark little corner so I can get unchanged. But you guys know how it goes. You can't really walk three steps without being stopped, but it's okay. I'm going to tough it out and we're going to finish this thing strong. I have to say it was an incredible time, one of the best times I've ever had wearing the suit. So that's it guys, that's a wrap for Robocop, we're going to get this suit off. So as we were leaving we got recognized by this couple who have watched the YouTube channel and said it was an inspiration for this gentleman to build his Robocop suit and I just wanted to leave this here for you guys that this is a prime example that if I can do it you can do it uh, it was so nice meeting you guys and I hope you had a great time at Orlando Megacon <laughs>